On August 11, 2022, Venus moves into Leo, and this brings the planet of love to the sign of love. Leo loves love, connects to the heart, and wants to connect and enjoy time with others. Venus in Leo lightens Venus up a little as Venus exits emotional cancer, and Leo wants to take it a little easier, not be so serious, and have some fun. Venus in Leo is excellent for having fun in your relationships and with the people in your life and you may make more time for the people you love and want to do more of what you love with them. With Leo ruling romance and dating, Venus and Leo can be a great time for that. If single, you may opt to play the field or at least enjoy having some options to entertain. You may want someone who can go big with romantic gestures or you may be the one acting theatrical. If in a relationship, you may focus on bringing the sparks back to the relationship, making it feel new again or doing something fun together. Leo also rules your children, so if you have any, you may give them more attention, enjoy spending more time with them, and they may be a little easier to deal with, just a little. Leo is a creative sign and rules our hobbies, so this may be a helpful transit for creative pursuits or for picking up new hobbies. We can enjoy this and focusing on anything mundane can be helped by being creative about it. We generally want more of our heart in anything we do during this transit. Venus is in Leo until September 5th, 2022. While in Leo, will make four major aspects to the other planets. Venus will trine, which is a beneficial aspect, Jupiter and Aries on August 18th. And this is super positive, beneficial energy. We may feel kind of lucky around this time, or like we can make our own luck. Venus and Jupiter are beneficial planets, so beneficial aspects between them are super beneficial. And love and relationships, we may have an easier time getting along, compromising, and we may meet new people who bring opportunities for us in some way. On August 22nd, Venus will conjunct or align with Ceres and Leo. Ceres is a dwarf planet ruling nourishment, and this aspect can make us super affectionate, super caring, and super nurturing. We likely want to help those we love in whatever ways we can, and we can enjoy doing so. This can also be very beneficial financial energy, so it can be a time to make financial decisions, transactions, plans, or investments. On August 27th, Venus will square, which is a challenging aspect, Uranus and Taurus. This might bring out some frustrations in our relationships as we want to make changes but likely feel stalled or experience changes brought on by others that we're not happy with. We need to get impulsive energy under control and work on small changes while being flexible with what's not in our control. On August 28th, Venus will oppose Saturn and Aquarius, and this might make us feel more stifled in our relationships or limited in our dealings with others. We may feel the weight of our responsibilities and our relationships, and this can frustrate us. We need to try to find a little bit of space without pushing too hard or abdicating responsibility, and also take a realistic and objective look at the problems in our relationships to determine where to stay and where to go. By sign, Aries may be more affectionate and loving with the people in your life while Venus is in Leo, and can dedicate more time to the people you love. You may feel more creative and inspired as well and want to use this energy in everything you do. Taurus can work on sharing what you feel with the people in your life while Venus is in Leo, and you can forge a stronger emotional connection with them as a result. You likely want more support from the people you care about and can be supportive in return. Gemini may have a lot that you want to share with others while Venus is in Leo, and you can go over your ideas and plans, share news, and generally enjoy more communications. You can work on opening up the lines of communication with others and help it flow more smoothly. Cancer can focus on improving stability and security in your relationships while Venus is in Leo. You may feel more connected when your relationships are more grounded. You can be more loyal and reliable and may prefer being around others you feel are also loyal and reliable. Leo may love being around those you love, spending time doing what you love and getting attention with Venus in your sign. And you can show your affection for others and be more openly loving as well. You can also enjoy starting a new project or venture you're passionate about during this time. Virgo can show how much you care quietly with no one watching while Venus is in Leo, and you can be extra loving behind closed doors. You may have secret crushes that thrill you, and you may do acts that help those you love without them knowing it, not needing any praise for doing it. Libra may want to spend more time with your friends with Venus and Leo, and can enjoy the time you get with your friends or groups you belong to. You can meet new potential friends, and in love, you may be more concerned with having a foundation of friendship that is strong. Scorpio can focus more on your goals while Venus is in Leo and may feel extra ambitious, driven, and practical about your plans. You can get attention from people in the right places and make new connections. In love, you may be more practical and committed, though also maybe more distant. 
Sagittarius may focus on getting a little bit of space from others while Venus is in Leo, and it may not be that you're annoyed by them, but rather you just want some time to do your own thing. You may want time with the people who are more daring and help you be more spontaneous. Capricorn can focus on intimacy in your relationships while Venus is in Leo, and you can work on strengthening how connected you are. You likely want to understand the people you care about most better, and can get to the heart of any matters that are impacting relationships. Aquarius may give more of your attention to your relationships with Venus and Leo, and you can enjoy getting more one-on-one -on -one time with loved ones. You can be a cheerleader with them, and you may find you get more opportunities with a partner as well. Pisces can pay close attention to the people in your life with Venus and Leo. This can help you figure them out, find little ways of showing you care, and improving your connections. You may enjoy being more productive and getting work done as well during this time. So that's it for Venus and Leo. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and check the description for the link to sign up for the monthly worksheet to keep track of the planets every month. Wishing you love, luck, and pixie dust with Venus and Leo.